Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be doing a first time review of Airbnb. All right, so if you guys are just here for the Airbnb promo code, head down to the description below as I will have that link for you guys. You guys will get $45 off your next booking and then we'll get $20 off so we all get to share the love. So this is gonna be my honest and unbiased review of the Airbnb service. All right, so it was my very first time using airbnb this past summer was the first time i used it we used it in uh, vancouver island when we went down to the horn lake caves and then we used it again in portland oregon and then again in downtown vancouver so i've used airbnb three times now and i'm going to be using it again in scottsdale arizona and in bermuda in the 2018 year all right so for this video i'm gonna go pro and then i'm gonna go con and then i'm gonna go back and forth and and sort of lay out the pros and the cons all right so first off first pro that i thought was it's generally cheaper than if you were to get a hotel. Now it really depends on if you're getting a room or an entire house because I book hotels all the time for when we travel for business and comparing those rates to what you get when you could potentially book a home, you can book a home basically for the same rate as you would get a tiny room in a regular hotel. So to me, it seems cheaper for what you get. Now a con is if you're used to staying in hotels, you're not gonna get any of those amenities such as regular room service. So like when they clean your room, regular cleaning, you know, when they clean your room in the morning when you go out for the day, they remake your bed, they clean up the washroom, rearrange things. You also don't have access to if they have uh, room service, like if you can order in your room and you get food delivered, a shuttle service, like if they have a free shuttle to go into town, into downtown, and or if they have a pool or gym, you, you won't have access to those in an Airbnb generally. Pro is that Airbnb is great for groups. Like if you're staying with a big group, it really helps Airbnb. It really helps to, to have Airbnb to use that as a service because when you're traveling in groups that are like four or more, you generally have to book more hotel rooms. So like two, three, four hotel rooms if you're in a big group. But with Airbnb, you can get an entire house and all share it together, which kind of makes it more fun too. That's what's going to be happening in Scottsdale, Arizona and Bermuda for us. There's going to be 10 plus people. So we're going to definitely be using Airbnb instead of hotels. So that's a pro for Airbnb. Con is that every place is different and they have house rules. So you're staying in someone's place, right? So they each have their own rules. For example, the house that we stayed in on Vancouver Island, you were not allowed to wear bare feet in the house. That was one of the rules. And you, when you had garbage that filled up in the kitchen, you needed to take it out to the garage and separate some of the garbage from recycling and waste. So each place is different. Some places have more lenient rules. Some have more strict. It re really all depends, but there are house rules. In a hotel, you can kind of just be like, whatever like you can leave it messy and check out and you won't get dinged for it or get a bad review for it a pro for airbnb is that if you get a, a place that has these facilities and in our case we only rent full houses i don't really rent a room that's attached to someone else's house i'll rent the entire house for us you can do cooking and your laundry like you can go and buy groceries and make like a whole meal because the houses will provide like the cooking ware so you can use the pots and pans blenders ovens that is a real benefit you know if you want to save on going out to dinner and you have a big group and you want to just cook for everybody it's like you're you're living in a house and you're using their kitchen you can also do things like laundry you don't have to use the hotel service or not do laundry at all 
A con for Airbnb is that sometimes it's annoying to book a specific place. Now, it really depends on the type of place that you're booking, but some hosts are very strict and they they screen all the people that want to book their place. So some places you can just go and book it immediately and you don't need to say anything about yourself. But some places you need to provide the photo ID, you need to write a little bit about yourself, Yourself. You need to say why you want to stay in this place. And I get it from their point of view. They don't want someone who's going to trash their place and mess it up. So they want to see if you're going to be a person that follows the rules and doesn't mess up their home. So, for example, a place that we wanted to stay in in downtown Vancouver, they actually had to check out our Facebook and we had to give them government ID. And they were like, wanting to know why we wanted to stay there. And so we had to be a little bit more involved with explaining like why we wanted to rent this place. Whereas at a hotel, it doesn't matter really who you are. You just have a credit card and you book it and it doesn't matter who you are. You can be the messiest person and trash the place. As long as you have internet and you have a credit card, you can book the hotel room. So on Airbnb, there's a little bit more of a screening process. So a pro for Airbnb is that you can really get a place that meets your needs. There's so many specifications that you can choose from. So if you don't want an entire house, you don't have to get one. You can just get a room. You can get the entire house with a pool, with amenities, and it's close to here and it's close to there. There's definitely more location range than if you were to get hotels because hotels are usually in main cities and they're generally not in suburb areas for example in vancouver island we wanted to do the horn lake caves experience and it was kind of out in the wilderness and there wasn't really hotels around that area but we managed to find an airbnb that was literally a couple minutes away so that was really convenient for us now, a con for Airbnb is that if you have something go wrong, let's say in where you're staying, maybe the water's not working or the toilet is broken, it exploded or something, like something's not working, it may not get fixed right away because some hosts don't even live in the same city that you're booking in. They may have to get someone else. Whereas if you were in a hotel room and let's say, you know, we were staying in a hotel room in Whistler and we were saying it was like way too hot. They immediately brought up more fans or we needed more this or that blankets, whatever. They immediately brought it up. If we say that the toilet's broken, they will get send someone over to fix it for us right away or they'll move us to a different room. So that is another con is that if something happens, you might not be able to get it fixed right away. For the most part, we never had any issues like that. I mean, there were some times where we were like, oh, where is this? And then they would respond right away, that type of thing. But we never had an issue like that. But it is something to think about because we've had issues before in hotel rooms where like the toilet's not working or there's no hot water and then they have to send someone up to fix it. Oh, and another pro that I forgot to mention is like the whole payment thing. So when you go to a hotel, you have to check in, you have to do the whole check in process and you have to, you know, get your credit card out, fill out some forms, sign some things. With Airbnb, you don't have to do that. Everything is all taken care of online. You pretty much just check in with the instructions that they give you. So each location, each Airbnb place is different on how they will provide you instructions on how to get into the place for example the one in vancouver island was a pin pad so they didn't have like a key or anything you just had to go and punch in a pin pad code that they gave you a couple days before you leave for your trip they'll they'll say okay you know you're going to be checking in soon this is the pin pad the the entrance is located here that type of thing for the one in vancouver they had this whole process where you needed to tell them what time you're going to be checking in. So let's say you, you knew you're going to be arriving between 1 and 3 p.m. 
they would actually be leaving the door unlocked for you be, be, between that times the housekeeper would leave the door unlocked between one and three so that you could get in so those are a little bit of the pros and cons for both now do i prefer staying in an airbnb versus a hotel it really depends on the situation so for me it depends on the first thing is how many people are going if there is four or more people i'm generally going to want to get an airbnb because uh if there's four people we want more space potentially more washrooms and it's going to save on the cost of things because airbnb i find is cheaper generally and if there's more of us maybe you know we don't want to eat out all the time so we want to cook because it's going to be more fun or something and maybe we want like a big couch to watch movies together that type of thing then i would choose an airbnb now let's say if i was going to a business convention and i the convention was in downtown and i needed to be there in the morning and it was just me and reet going for business then maybe i would choose a hotel that is directly close to the convention so it really depends on the type of event that's happening, the location, what you're going to be doing. For instance, in Scottsdale, Arizona, when we go there for my sister's bachelorette, we are going to be renting a mansion on Airbnb and, you know, it's going to be in the suburb area. And we are cool with just staying there at this mansion, having fun, you know, just partying over there instead of getting hotel rooms, like three different hotel rooms, and then trying to fit everyone in one hotel room. We'd rather do it on Airbnb. So do I prefer Airbnb over hotel? Again, it depends on the situation, but I do like Airbnb. It's just different and i like how you can stay at really cool places because generally hotel rooms are pretty much the same i like the variety that you get on airbnb so here are a couple of tips if you haven't booked an airbnb and you're thinking about it you want to make sure that you read the reviews read what people have said and make sure you actually book a place that has reviews because if it doesn't have reviews at all you don't know what you're getting into and it might be kind of scary if you haven't done airbnb before so make sure you go through the reviews and read a bunch of them and see what people are saying like if they're commenting on okay it's actually a clean place the everything works it's as described no one was lying or anything and you also want to make sure that the place has really good pictures sometimes you know they take really crappy pictures and the place doesn't look very appealing you want someone who takes effort into their listing you want a host that does effort into making their place look nice for you to stay at because you don't want to stay in a crappy looking place so overall i've had a good experience with airbnb and i do suggest it if you guys are wanting to try it out again if you want to check it out head down to the description below as i will have a promo link for you guys to get 45 dollars off your first airbnb booking so that is pretty much the tips that i have for you guys if you are thinking about getting your first booking with Airbnb. All right guys, so I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please let us know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.